Yeah, I can tell you the story behind the name Super Bowl. It's kind of a, a quick anecdotal story. When the American Football League and the NFL merged in the summer of 1966, one of the key ingredients was that we were going to play a championship game at the end of that season. So Pete Rozelle, the commissioner, appointed a committee of three people from each league, and this committee met with Pete several times during the summer and early fall to make the plans for this first championship game that was going to be played at the end of the 66 season. Uh, there were a lot of conceptual things that we had to talk about. Or is it going to be played at a neutral site or will it be played in the home city of one team or the other? Will, it, uh, will we allow two weeks between the last game and the final game and so on and so forth? And in one of these meetings, I made the comment I said, well, I think that we ought to have two weeks until the championship game. And one of the other committee members said, well, what do you mean by the championship game? And I said, you know, the last game, the final game, the Super Bowl. And everybody kind of looked at me funny, and it was, it was a totally spontaneous remark. And I think it probably came because uh, my children uh, had been given uh, small ball, uh, rubber balls called a super ball and it was very much like a golf ball except it was rubber and you could bounce it on concrete and it would bounce over a house and it was called a super ball and that's the only reason I can think of uh, obviously the word bowl signified championship from football but that's how that name was born we had we had no research we had no market study uh, if, we had, if we had commissioned a, a market research, we'd still be worried about it 30 years later, whether we picked the right name. But it just, it happened that it was a name that caught on with the public, and that's the story. Great story.